Trust is the new currency in e-commerce and in business in general. Yet many brands still struggle to build it. How do you break through to skeptical customers in today's modern content-driven world? The answer is user-generated content. Now, I know that you are hearing this at exhaustion and you probably even use user-generated content, but you'd be surprised at what actually makes it work. But first, why user-generated content? The reasons, it's authentic. It's relatable. It tells a good story. It's hitting the message, hopefully in an emotional way, that meets you at the level of where you are at as a consumer. It's real from real. It's real people, real messages, real stories, and it's talking about how they are having real positive experiences with your brand and your products. Now, there's tons of data out there. Just Google studies, case studies of UGC. But we had one that was particularly valuable and insightful. We had a brand last year that we were working with in the sporting goods space. So we have a, a studio in Brazil and we ship the products down to Brazil because we can film, uh, re record the content, shoot the content much cheaper than we can here in the United States, right? So we send products down there. And so we had this big shoot that we planned. It was over, over the course of three days. We hired talent in Brazil, models. Uh, we scripted everything. We had crazy lighting in a studio and super cinematic. And we created all this content, shipped the content back up here to our offices and edited it for paid media across various different platforms, launched it. We're super excited about it. The results were terrible. They did not get a good return on ad spend. They did not get a good uh, click through. The ads actually didn't perform very well. So uh, Facebook and TikTok, they, did, they actually didn't show them to enough consumers. And so we didn't get good results. The conversions weren't very good, even though we had fully optimized landing pages, the whole deal. All right. We went back to the table. We tried to figure out why. What happened? In our data and comparing that with uh, previous campaigns, we realized that for this particular brand, they weren't well known enough to have that level production perform well. And so that was super insightful. And looking back, we should have already knew that known this because we've sort of been through this before, but there was an oversight. And the oversight was that if a brand is already not widely distributed and and people are not widely aware of a brand, in general we see that we you can't get away with highly produced content. Because for a consumer to look at a brand new company with very little social proof in their mind, and see that they're producing these high-end, high-production uh, types of content, it's not relatable. We don't like that. We don't like being advertised to. We can get advertised to if uh, we already relate with the brand. We can be advertised to if we already know the brand and we like the brand, like Nike or Gatorade or something like that. But if it's a new brand, UGC makes it relatable, authentic, trustworthy. So what did we do? We went back to the drawing board. We partnered with influencers, creators, current customers, our own internal team, our clients' own internal team, and we created tons of user-generated content. Uh, tons. I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pieces. We then went and ran that across paid media. It worked really well. We converted tons of sales. I don't have the exact metrics, but a lot of sales. Much more than the highly produced versions that we tried to do the month before. And we were able to take the best performing content, post it organically, and that did well also. Why UGC? UGC because you check so many boxes. One, it's cost effective. Two, you can make it very fast. Three, you can measure what works and put more into the production of that style content. Four, you get to tap into existing customers and influencers and community members. So there's a sense of ownership, which then, maybe number five, then allows it to be to go viral organically, right? Six, you get paid media content that is performing, that is more cost efficient than highly produced content. So there's so many benefits to UGC from a marketing standpoint. It's unavoidable and it works. And it's really not going away, even though so many brands are doing it. It's because it's like walking down the street and getting coffee. Just because everybody loves coffee doesn't mean all of a sudden people are going to stop liking coffee, right? 
UGC works and it works because it's trustworthy and authentic. And that's not just going to go away because people see it so often. It's just going to keep working if you do it in a way that tells people why your brand is worth trusting.